Hi everyone, uh, nice to meet you. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be making this pumpkin spice frappuccino and I've been sitting here for a while so it's starting to melt so I really am going to drink it soon but it's a great healthier alternative, healthier and cheaper alternative to the Starbucks pumpkin spice frappuccino. And now that it's getting into fall, I'm just, I'm in the pumpkin spice mood. I love pumpkin spice every year. I do the candles, I buy the drinks, and it's still hot, but it's also fall. So this is the perfect drink. So if you wanna see how I made it, keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is put um, two spoons of each of these spices into this Ziploc bag to make pumpkin pie spice. So the first thing I'm going to put in is this nutmeg. And then ginger. Then cinnamon. Allspice and cloves. Now I have two spoons of each spice in this bag and I'm just going to mix it up um, to make it nice and even. And that's the pumpkin pie spice. Next I'm going to open this jar of pumpkin and put most of it into this reusable container so that I can keep it in the fridge because we're definitely not going to use the entire jar. Okay, so we're ready to start blending. I'm gonna start with this Earth's Own So Fresh Cashew Milk. It's unsweetened. And I'm gonna add um, three quarters of a cup. I realized that was a lot, so I actually only ended up doing about half a cup. Next, I'm adding in the pumpkin pie filling and I'm going to put in one large spoon. This already has sugar in it, so I'm not gonna to add too much sugar, but I am gonna add a, just a touch of maple syrup, and I'm going to put in just like one teaspoon. Next, I'm going to add in our pumpkin pie spice, and I'm gonna be really generous with this because I want it to really taste like pumpkin pie. So I'm putting in a very large heaped teaspoon. The last ingredient is coffee ice cubes, and here I've actually got a mix of regular ice cubes and coffee ice cubes, and that's fine. Um, and actually, they haven't totally frozen. I put them in only about two hours ago, and my freezer isn't that good apparently, so. But I'm gonna be doing my best to put these into the blender. So here I have seven coffee ice cubes, and I'm gonna put these in the blender and then blend it up. So here is the finished product. And it came out pretty good. I think I would add a touch more milk next time and also a bit more pumpkin puree and a little bit less of the pumpkin pie spice because I can really like, it's almost like gritty from the amount that I added in there. 
So I went a little bit overboard with the pumpkin pie spice. But overall, it's pretty good and I love that you can make so many of these for the same price as buying like one uh, frappuccino at Starbucks. So I'm definitely going to keep experimenting with this, but it's not bad at all. And I know I can make it perfect with just like a few minor tweaks. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.